Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie. And I thought I was going to get through the day without a rant, but um, I just have to tell you about this. So not only yesterday, our fantastic Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, um, it came out that he'd made a bet of a £1,000 with Piers Morgan that he would get immigrants on the, a plane to Rwanda. So that was the first... It's not the first crass thing that he's done, actually. That was just one crass thing that he did yesterday. And just when you think he can't do anything more crass. So today, what has he done? Something even more crass in Prime Minister's question time. So, you know, we've been talking about the Brianna J case. Um, I'm not sure if you pronounce it J or gay, but it's G-H-E-Y. Brianna was a 15-year-old girl, a transgender girl, that was murdered uh, by two horrible, horrible uh, teenagers, part of the reason of her being murdered was hate crime for a, a transgender identity. And um, Brianna's mother was there today at the Houses of Parliament, uh, looking on in the public gallery, because you can go and watch the um, uh, shenanigans if you want to, in the um, Houses of Parliament, so uh, you can go and actually observe what's going on. So Keir Starmer, the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, he had um, announced that Brianna's mother was there and uh, everyone had, you know, he'd given tributes to her because I think we mentioned as well when I did the video about Brianna J, you know, uh, she has called for, um, Brianna's mother has called for, uh, you know, uh, uh, empathy for the parents um, of the two children because the two the two that have been found guilty of Brianna Jay's murder are also only fifteen at the time and now sixteen, and they're facing life in prison with minimum terms of twenty years and twenty two years. So Brianna's mother had, had spoken out very bravely, very. Uh, calmly, you know, for what she must be going through. And Sir Keir Starmer said a little tribute to this at the beginning. So, you know, um, bloody snaky Sunak, he knew that Brianna's mother was there in the public gallery. He knew perfectly well that she was there. So let's see what he had to say during Prime Minister's question time. You know, literally, just when I think things can't get any worse, they get worse, don't they? So he stood up to say, Mr. Speaker, just, we are uh, put it on full screen. So he stood up to give his comment. You know, obviously, a, a Prime Minister's question time <clears throat> is a question of attacking each other, isn't it? And it's going to get uh, really nasty now coming up to the general election. There'll be a, at some point this year, there'll be a general election and the normal sort of attacks that they do on each other will get worse. But this guy is so oblivious to everything else. So bearing in mind that Brianna's mother, who's just gone through that trial and found out all the details of what happened to her daughter, how she was stabbed brutally, I think it was 18 times, lured to a death by someone pretending to be her friend, targeted because of her transgender identity. She's in the gallery and Rishi Sunak decides to say this. We are bringing the waiting list down for the longest waiters for making progress, but it's a bit rich, Mr Speaker, to hear about promises from someone who's broken every single promise he was elected on. I think I counted almost 30 in the last year. Pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay. And this woman in the background, oh my God. Anyway, don't even get me started on her. Hey, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. But... Oh, so she thinks it's hilarious. This woman thinks it's bloody hilarious. And he thinks it's hilarious to make transgender jokes. 
The list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr. Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises, and absolutely no plan. It's the same, Mr. Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises, and for you, turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr. Speaker. Defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr. Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises. Did you feel there that she just suddenly realised? Because one minute she was laughing away like a brain donkey, and then the next minute her face just went serious. I wonder if she thought, oh, shit, hang on a minute, Brianna's mother's here. This is an absolutely no terms. Defining a woman. Although, although in fairness... Tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, <laughs> defining a woman. Although, although, in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr Speaker. It's empty words, absolutely broken no. promises and absolutely no plan. Keir Starmer. Keir Starmer, and whatever you think of Keir Starmer. Some people like him, some people don't. I like him. I think he's a good man. I think he's a nice man. And he genuinely looked angry here. I don't think it was like politics. He he just could not believe that he'd said it. And I do believe that Keir Starmer is a good man, but you know, you'll all have your own opinions. <laughs> Of all of all the work of all the weeks to say that when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. Absolute. Of all but either side. I I honestly thought that Keir looked quite shaken there that he'd said that. He probably, because he just, you know, announced <coughs> that Brianna's mum was there. And apparently Brianna's mum asked uh, to have a, <coughs> you know, actually have a word with Keir afterwards. Brianna's mum was there with Angela Rayner, because Angela Rayner, who sat on the right of Keir with the long red hair, she's a Manchester MP, and of course, Brianna, the incident took place <coughs> in Manchester, in Greater Manchester. So maybe she'd contacted Angela and asked to go and speak to Keir Starmer. I, I don't know why she was there, particularly that day. Um, <clears throat> but she was there and apparently she did have a meeting with Keir. But as far as I know, she hasn't had a meeting with Rishi unless that's changed since then. Uh, but let's just hear what Keir had to say one more time. I, I honestly did think he looked genuinely, could not believe what he'd just heard. <laughs> of, all, of all the work, of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. Absolute. Of all. I think it's really side. rattled. I, I think the member's getting carried away. Can I just say that our constituents wants to hear the questions and the. Lindsay Hoyle is a rubbish speaker. He's just rubbish. He's not strong enough. They certainly want to hear the answers. They don't want to hear organised barracking. So please, I want no more. Kiss yeah. Hammer. Well, he didn't refer to him as Prime Minister then, because twice uh, Lindsay Hoyle has actually referred to it during. Um, Prime Minister's question time is actually referred to Keir Starmer as Prime Minister. So, uh, yeah, it feels like, feels like Keir Starmer will probably be Prime Minister this time next year, but who knows, who knows. Uh, and I'm not saying he'd be perfect. Believe me, I don't think he'd be perfect. I don't think anybody is. But I do think he'd be better, and I do think he's a decent man. And he certainly wouldn't have stood up and made a joke about transgender issues when Brianna Jay's mother, who Brianna Jay, who's just been brutally murdered, uh, part of the reason being for her transgender identity, and he thinks that's a good time to stand up 
make a joke about trans transgender uh, people. I mean, what's wrong with him? This is our Prime Minister. He thinks it's okay to make a £1,000 bet with Piers Morgan about whether he'll get immigrants on a plane or not. He thinks it's okay uh, to make a joke about transgender when there's a mother of a, a murdered t transgender teenager is present there. What sort of a man is this? What sort of a man is he? That's my rant. Um, I'm sure you'll let me know what you think in comments. Maybe you think Rishi Sunak is bloody brilliant. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching as always. Uh, I didn't swear. I, got, I don't think I did anyway. I think I got all the way through without swearing. It's very difficult with Rishi Sunak. Snaky Sunak, Richie Rishi. I mean, he is... Um, you know, it just gets worse. So what's next? So that's two things. The bet about Rwanda, joking about transgender issues. What's he going to do tomorrow? Have a joke about cancer, you know, while King Charles is suffering for it. You know, what is it? What What's wrong with him? Why is he so oblivious to everything? <sighs> Till I see you again, may your God go with you. Bye.